And I don't want to hear y'all in the comments saying, oh, you need to use like a holding spray or something like that. I don't like holding sprays. I don't like them. Oh, 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 oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel. And I'm also a makeup artist. So in today's video, you already know when I'm in this bathroom, I'm doing something to my hair. Eight times out of 10, I'm doing something to my hair. And today I'm doing this 90s inspired early 2000s inspired rich auntie rich mommy fine mommy hairstyle i really feel like i look like my mom right now and just all of the women in the early 2000s and 90s that i grew up around and i'm really channeling that era so yeah this is a very quick and easy style i haven't washed the unit yet no shedding or anything like that it's laying flat I really don't have anything bad to say about this hair at all so this is really not going to be a review this is just me styling my hair and just giving the women of that time that i grew up around their flowers because i was like so in awe by my mom's beauty by anybody that i grew up around and they were just the girls of the 2000s and the early 90s or the late 90s were just that girl because if I was an adult in the early 2000s and 90s, I would have been doing this. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm literally obsessed with this look. Um, another reason why I wanted to do a unit is because even though I be putting a lot of heat on my hair, I try not to and plus my hair does not hold a curl. So wigs and I like to make it look as natural as possible. Majority of the time, nobody knows that I'm wearing a unit or clip-ins or extensions or anything like that. People be thinking it's my real hair. Not that I'm trying to like deceive people. I would rather you not ask me if I got a wig on or not. You know what I'm saying? I would rather you just say, oh, your hair looks really nice today. That's what I go for. Your hair looks really nice today. And that's it. Don't ask me nothing else. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video because it's going to be a good one. It's probably going to be a short video, but it's going to be a good one. This is pretty much ready to wear right out of the box. Okay. Thank you so much. You nice hair for coming back and sponsoring another video. Shout out to y'all and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So before I put this wig on and like part my hair off and braid it down, this is how the wig is going to come. This is the baggie that it comes in. Okay, so I'm liking the branding of the tissue paper. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll give y'all a close-up in a minute. The wig comes like this. And then it also comes with a robe and some more goodies. We have another mirror cube. And then, oh, it comes with a pen. And like the same things from the last package, it comes with like a um, another brush as well. No, but look at the tissue paper though. Do y'all see that? It's the branding for me. And I really like their logo. Like their new logo is so nice. I like. I really like it. All right, so I got a. I think a 14 inch unit because I really want to do a side swoop with my hair flipped out. If you guys watch my vlogs, um, I think I was in between styles and I like flipped my hair up, but I was like about to wash it and I was like, I'm, I really want to do it to my hair, but my hair already grew out. Um, so I was like, let me get a wig because my hair does not hold a curl at all. That's another reason why I wear like extensions and stuff like that. So that my hair looks like it holds a curl when it actually doesn't. It's the weave. So I was like, I really want to do, ooh, I really want to do a bob and flip it out and do like, you know, a side suit. I'm definitely channeling the 90s era and the early 2000s era. So yeah, this is how the wig is looking. This is the inside of it. Same standard. The lace is up top. It comes with a bunch of combs up top to secure the wig. Two combs on the side and then there's all 
also a comb in the back as well. And then you also have this bra strap right here that I really, really enjoy. It just makes the wig fit way better. And then it also comes with these two standard straps that you can like adjust and crisscross, which is what I usually do to make the wig fit better because I always have problems with the wigs being a little bit too big. But I sent in my measurements this time, so I'm pretty sure this wig is going to fit hopefully perfectly. Okay, so I just like to crisscross those two back straps and then this is the strap that really like holds everything down and then you can adjust it and make it smaller so that the wig fits better and it's just I just really like the construction of this wig it looks crazy right now but once I put it on my head it's going to do what it needs to do all right so now I'm just measuring the parting and it's like the length of my index finger and typically my parts end up being the same length always no matter how I part my hair they just stop at that same point so me using my index to measure um, I was just making sure I didn't have to part it a little bit longer because sometimes when it comes to be part wigs the parts are a little bit deeper sometimes they're a little bit shorter it just really depends on the wig but this go around everything was pretty much spot on I didn't have to tweak the wig at all and I'm starting off with freshly washed and blow dried out hair which is like the best way to do it but sometimes I don't be having time to wash my hair um, and I'm not washing my hair every single week that's just way too much after two weeks yeah I'm like trying to wash my hair which for me personally washing my hair every two weeks is a lot more attainable than washing my hair every single week I have way too much to do in a week to sit and wash my hair every single week like clockwork yeah I, i'm not doing that so yeah this is my hair freshly washed and blown out and my bob has grown out tremendously um the middle of my hair is like my problem area and i'm trying to get it to grow out to match the rest of my hair but um the way trish trims my ends she trims it in that v shape so that um the middle part of my hair still gets trimmed and not left behind so it's not breaking off it's not damaged or well it's kind of heat damage but it's not breaking off or anything that's how my hair is being trimmed by my hairstylist so yeah and that's how it naturally grows moving into parting my hair off i know i want to side part so i'm just going to go ahead and fix up that part and then i'm going to go ahead and section off my leave out because i want about an inch and a half of hair on each side of my part so that it covers up the top part of this V part wig and looks very natural and seamless. Like, I don't want you to see nothing, okay? This is my hair, and you can't tell me it's not. Okay, so once I get my leave out situated, I'm going to loosely braid it out of the way so that I can put the wig back on my head to make sure the wig is situated where it needs to be sitting. Um, and then I'm going to start my braid down process. So this is like the time where I'm like putting the wig back and forth, taking it on and off, just to make sure it's fitting like a glove. And it in fact fits like a glove. So I'm just going to go ahead and start my braid down process. And then the first thing I usually do is corn roll my leave out out of the way and then start my braid down process. I am going to be putting in some anchor braids today just because I feel like sometimes the wig isn't sitting as flat as I want it to sit. And sometimes I feel like I'm getting too much tension if I braid it the way that I have braided it in the past. So I'm going back to doing an anchor braid, but... Today I'm actually just doing two braids or two cornrows going straight back. And the way I did my braid down this go around, I just feel like this is my best one yet. So some of the things that I've tweaked, for one, I have to braid my anchor braids a little bit smaller. Now in my previous videos, my anchor braid was a little thick and it wasn't really doing what it needed to do. I felt like I was getting a lot of tension when it came to my head, like my scalp will be sore in some spots. Um, so I would just take the wig off and that was all that problem. But every time I would put the wig on, when it came to the comb getting into the braid, it would be too thick. So it would be like tugging. But with this braid down, I made sure to braid my anchor braid tiny so that the combs of the wig can slip in and sit very comfortably. 
Um, and I did come across Forever Chrissy's video and she did this braid down going straight back and I was like, ooh, let me try that because usually I'll do my anchor braid but I'll wrap it around my um, leave out and that just don't be working. But this braid pattern worked out really, really well. I did have to take my time um, because I'm not really good at braiding. I just do what I can. Um, but it came out really good. So I'm going to continue to finish this last anchor braid and then I'm going to part my hair going straight back and feed in my anchor braids into a bigger cornrow. And then once I finish this cornrow that has my anchor braids feeded into it, I'm going to go ahead and braid down the rest of my hair. All right, so now that my braid down is done, this is how it's looking. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my wig. I'm gonna hold on to the thicker strap, put that on the back of my head, and then pull the wig forward, and then hook everything onto the anchor braids. And when I tell y'all, this wig is just laying flat. It looks like it's my hair. It's actually insane. It looks so good. I think I did a really good job with the braids and just, um, the whole braid down process now that the wig is secured and on my head everything is laying flat and nice i'm going to go ahead and trim this wig basically cut it to match the other side of the wig so i am going for a bob so i'm basically just going to mimic how it looks on the right side of my head so i'm just taking the red tail comb and combing it as straight as possible before i cut into this wig and I'm basically just matching my left side to the right side because y'all see the length difference. I'm literally just going to try and mimic what it looks like on that side. I'm going to be angling my scissors in a heel shape. So I'm gonna start long and then angle the scissors to where it will end up high, if that makes sense. Y'all, I'm basically just eyeballing it, that's all. And I'm using my hands as a guide as to where I should cut. So I'm cutting above my fingers and I'm going to try to do this in one motion so that I don't get any ridges, if that makes sense. And honestly, I kind of did a good job. Like, honestly, y'all, it came out so good. Just watch. <laughs> Okay, so this is how the cut came out. And honestly, am I a professional? Am, am I a hairstylist? No, I'm not at all. Um, but it came out really, really good. And I'm pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out the little bit of side leave out that I left out. It's really not leave out, but it's like my edges. So I'm just gonna press those out and then take down my leave out. And then once I'm done loosening out my leave out, I'm gonna go into pressing it out with this Pure Code flat iron that I got years ago on 390 degrees. And y'all, the way this unit looks on my head, it just looks so good. I think it's the length, I think it's how it's blending. And honestly y'all, I really didn't have to do much to this unit. It was so easy to work with very beginner friendly once I braided down my hair and pulled out my leave out all I had to do was put the wig on my head and flip it out that's it this could be like a five minute wig application but y'all know I'll be doing the most but yeah it was such a 
ease to work with. So I'm just gonna finish doing my hair and let y'all enjoy the music and watch. Okay, moving into the next day, this is the morning after and I'm laying down my baby hairs and I just put the wig back on. I did not do anything to preserve the curls overnight. I didn't go to sleep in this wig at all. I just took it off and put it to the side, but I probably should have put some rollers or something in this hair to like kind of keep the curls alive. But I just went back in with my curling iron and that's how the hair is looking for the day. And then I'm also going to come back to you guys later on so you guys can see how the hair wore. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to have like a tucked side part or it just laying down relaxed like that. So I don't know, they both look good. I started off the day with it out and then I ended up tucking it. And before I forget, I do have a coupon code for you guys. It's Shanny, it's spelled S-H-A-N-N-Y for 12% off plus a free robe. So if you guys are interested in this unit and wanna go ahead and order, definitely use the coupon code, get 12% off and a free robe. It's the end of the night and this is how the hair is looking. It held a pretty good curl or flip. I shouldn't say curl because it's not really curled. It's just a nice flip, but yes, yeah, it's so cute. And people think I cut my hair, y'all. <laughs> of course my leave out is frozen up a little bit, but it's holding a flip and it looks very natural. One of my coworkers was like, oh, you cut your hair. I was like, yeah. <laughs> because I mean, I technically did, but this is not my natural hair, but it looks like it though. And that's what I like. Give me a unit where it mimics my natural hair so that I don't have to put heat on my natural hair, you know? And I can switch it up whenever. Because honestly, my hair would never hold a flip like this all day. And I don't want to hear y'all in the comments saying, oh, you need to use like a holding spray or something like that. I don't like holding sprays. I don't like them. Um, <laughs> and then I know for sure my hair is not going to hold a curl. I just, that's just how my hair is. It never holds a curl. And I've already done this style on my natural hair before. And I wore it out. And by the end of the night, it was straight. I cannot wait to sit down and do like a get ready with me because I have the cutest outfit to put this on with. It's not like cute, but it's like, it's a blazer with a bra and then like a pop of color on the shoes. I'm just waiting to find a bag to go with the outfit. But if I do, y'all will see a get ready with me. I might just still do a get ready with me because this hair is just like so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, and I don't sleep in it. I take it off at night and put it back on. I never sleep in my wigs like that. I have before, but majority of the time I usually take it off because it just helps preserve the curls. And I like to be comfortable when I'm going to sleep, so I never really sleep in my wigs like that. I take it off 
so yeah that's my check-in as long as my leave out don't freeze out too much we good <laughs> but once my leave out start doing the most like right here then we're gonna have some problems but yeah it looks so good and you guys so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really like how this came out um it was a breeze to work with i the wig the wig fits um, and that's because I sent my measurements of my head. I'm going to show you guys how to measure your head in the next hair video because it just makes the world of difference. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm really trying to figure out if I should like tuck it. I might end up tucking it anyways, just because my forehead be sweating. <laughs> but it really looks nice both ways. So yeah i'm gonna put my face up on the screen and if you haven't already subscribed that's there for you to subscribe and i'll also put a playlist or a video right here if you haven't already watched it check it out and i will see you guys in the next video love y'all this is why i don't wear gloss on my lips